Hello, I'm Jerome Penn and welcome to Enshrouded, which is available today. As always, I'll leave some handy links in the description if you like the look of this one and want to pick it up for yourself, wishlist it, all that good stuff. This one is 10% off, I believe, until the 31st of January. So if you like the look of this one, you can get a little bit of money off. Um, this does have multiplayer, but I believe at the moment there is a slight bug that the developers are aware of. It might be fixed by the time you see this. Um, I see them saying that they've, there's a hot fix, they're aware of it and it should be coming out in the next few hours so by the time you see this video it might be fixed but there is a workaround i believe where you can join your friends through your steam uh, friends list i believe that's the workaround if i'm getting that correctly uh, but just go to the forums there's there's people uh, asking and they're answering and that sort of thing which is great um, but what is enshrouded you might be asking yourself well i would say that this is kind of valheim or i guess conan exiles but probably valheim is probably more apt uh, we are the chosen one so where there's flame born there is this enshrouded sort of corrupting fog that is around and kind of enshrouds us when we go into various areas. It damages us. We have a time limit. There's ways we can kind of extend that. But um, yeah, there are also corrupted enemies, that sort of thing. Uh, very much kind of Valheim is the vibes that I'm getting off it. Uh, there is a character creation. I just created Pin. And I'll just quickly show you. It's not a huge amount at the moment, but um, you know you can create your own character change the hairstyles, uh, give her a beard if you want, that sort of thing, change the voice. You know, not a, not a huge amount in the way of customization, but that's fine. Um, let's just see if we can get back, there we go. Um, so let's just kind of jump into it, shall we? And we'll go, uh, I'll say there were, it did seem like there was a problem with the um, multiplayer at the moment, but it might be fixed. Uh, but I jumped around and went into a private game and I was fine for like 20 minutes. I had no problem. So uh, if you're just playing this single play, you should be fine. Let's go there. Uh, let's kind of get rid of that one because that was the one I was just testing on. And then we'll, can we change the world and just give it a different edit? Change the name. There we go. Let's just go like the original title of YouTube. There we are. That's good. And then let's kind of jump into it. Okay, so here we are. And we should be getting out of our little chamber. So we've been kind of asleep. And the world has kind of been corrupted and um, fallen. And it's our job to kind of put it back together. As I say, we are kind of this flame-born one. So there's kind of slight wizard, magical type uh, person. So... We are rested at the moment and sheltered, so that's good. But let's come over here. Uh, a lot of this is exactly the same as the demo. If you played the demo, uh, there was like an eight hour, was it, time limit or something like that. Um, but obviously that's not there anymore. But um, yeah, I did play it. Uh, was it October when we played this? Something like that. Uh, Commune with the Flame. All right, let's go with that. We've some of uh, too long flame born. The realm of uh, Ebervale has fallen, consumed by the shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create your sh to create shelter from the dark. Okay, there we go. Cool. Now let's get out there into the main world. It's a nice quick uh, story. No, uh, you know, no no messing about. Here we go. A little bit of a tutorial as well as we go through here. But all of this, as I remember, was exactly the same. But I didn't play a huge amount of the demo. Uh, there we go. So if we press I, I think it was actually M, wasn't it? Go to the map. So there we are. The only thing I would like is a different place to be able to build my base because that's the exact same place as the demo. It would be kind of nice to be able to find some, you know, different areas that we could go and, you know, you could want to go there or there or here. I have a few little options, but, eh, you know, let's read that. Pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protects in a flame called wisdom far beyond... Okay, so there's these little kind of lore things around it. If you want to read those, just kind of pause the video. Can we loot this guy? No, we can't. So we're going to kind of make our way down there. But we've kind of got to go through this little tutorial. I didn't have a run around here, so let's just have a quick, quick butchers. I suspect there's not much here, but, you know, there might be a few little nuggets. Let's come down here and have a look. Grab that. We're going to need that torch, so let's grab that. We'll grab some bandages as well. That sounds pretty useful to me. Let's go through. As I say, this all seems the same to me So uh, as when I played it in the demo. So let's come over this way. And we'll go off to this side here. And yeah, there was like these little explosive... So it's kind of tell you use terraforming tools or explosive to forge a path through uh, rubble. Explosive powder balls can be thrown... 
So if we go here, we should be able to kind of blow a hole through there. There we go. And you can do that with the terrain outside. You can terraform and all that sort of stuff as well. So uh, let's kind of do that. Let's grab that hatchet. And then there is another thing over here. Oh, to pike mead. Oh, it's like a drinking song. Oh, okay. Right, fair enough. There we go. If you want to read that, just pause the video. Um, and then I did break this place up. Let's kind of just do that and see whether we can do... I got like a load of loot from it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's quite destructible as well. I kind of like that. You know, being able to terraform and all that sort of stuff. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. Let's break this thing up. There we go. That's great. Oh, hang on. Let's get the uh, let's get the torch out because I can't see a thing. Although perhaps we should just be going outside actually and just, you know. Oh, sorry, I'm reading the book again. Loot, loot. There we go. Alright, there we are. We've grabbed some stuff. I'm not going to spend too much time there. And then we just come down here and there was a little. Where was it? It's back up to where we just were. I wonder if there's something up there actually. I didn't go up there. Let's have a quick look. Just kind of jump down that way. Instead of going this way. I don't think there's anything here, but we'll have a look. No, it's kind of I cut off to that way, that's fine. Let's just go this way. I'm just gonna jump down. It's probably not the most uh, smart not probably not the smartest thing to do, but there you go. I'm gonna do it. Let's go this way. There was a chest in here though. Just gonna break that open. Get that out again. Take all of that, that's fine. I'll grab that bit of loot as well. Some wooden logs, let's come down here. And then here we go, here's our kind of um, introduction to the kind of corrupting fog that is around and about the place. Let's come over here, let's grab this torch. So the flame allows you to resist the shroud, uh, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud from uh, to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. There we go. So the longer you stay in there, we'll get a little bar. There we go, we're now enshrouded, hence the name. And uh, we've got five minutes in here. Uh, but I think the um, uh, the torch allows us to kind of stay there a bit longer, or at least helps anyway. Um, so tab and then control, we can roll out of the way. Let's grab an axe and we'll attack you. So we got you down. We search you. Uh, so we got some of those. We got some runes. Some of these other guys. Oh, hang on. Can I get you? There we go, and then let's search you guys. Grab all that you've got there. Oh, I can build a glider. Oh, what's that? A shield, hello. Well, that's kind of cool. I got a sword when I came through here last time. All right, fair enough. That's good, let's get out here. Recipe unlock, a workbench. As uh, so when you fall, you'll come back to one of these beacons. I think you can build one of these in your base. A new recipe, a construction hammer unlocked as well. Okay. And obviously we've got our health and I think that's that might be mana. Not too sure what the blue bar is. That's our stamina there. Uh, but let's come out here. Harvest berries, eat them. Replenish your health over time. Let's grab some of those then because that's going to be our food for a while. Berries, that's all good. Let's come over to here though. Yeah, there we go. That's gone up a bit more now. And we've got to set down. So we've got to go to reach the plains. That's cool. Let's get there. First, grab some more berries. There we are. Claim your spot. Claim a spot and your base. Okay. So, what do we go? Journal. Let's do that first. Uh, oh. Okay. I don't want that. I want journal. Back. Oh, did I click on that by mistake? Claim your spot. So build a flame altar. So all discovered recipes for this crafting station are saved here. Uh, you can click on there, navigate the different categories. Here you can find the requirements. And this is how to craft and that. Okay. So I need some stone. I can make a club, but 
I don't know. I don't think that's really worth it, is it? Uh, let's go and get some stone. Just pick that off the ground. Good looking game as well. I have to say. Good looking game. Not something that I particularly care about, but um, you know, it's nice when they're... Oh, hello. Let's go for a wolf. I was say first combat, but we've already... Ow! Alright, that wasn't a good call, was it? Yeah, the sword I got was much better. Uh, oh, let's take that. I, well, I did get a shield, so B for backpack. Uh, did it say shield? Shield. Okay. Uh, well, let's take some of those off. Let's kind of rearrange this a little bit, shall we? We'll put that there. Put that, say, there. Put those over there. That there. Do I have to just put that there, I guess? Oh, used to equip. Do I have to equip that? Oh, I wonder if I have to go to my character. Shield. There we go. Aha! Alright, there we go. That's good. That's going to help us out. Ooh, did you just kill? Oh, we must have killed that as well. Alright, well, we'll take that as well. Okay, so we should have everything we need. So, uh, what is it? V for crafting. Flame altar. Craft. And then B for backpack. Oh, it's in our inventory. Brilliant. It's in our hotbar. Right, there we go. So now that's kind of our building area. I believe, though, uh, we can expand this building area by upgrading it and that sort of thing, if I remember rightly. So, oh, sorry. Uh, so, let's have a kind of butcher. So let's have a look around. I think we probably want to push it back because we can terraform. So, but obviously that thing's over there. I'm kind of thinking, and how far back can I go with this? Kind of thinking like here. Just kind of push it a bit further that way. Yeah, we'll connect into that road then. I kind of like the idea of that. There we go. We've got a little road into our base then. Cool. Uh, claim a spot. Commune with the flame. Talk to the flame. Oh, okay. You are not alone. There are other survivors uh, drowsing in the nearby ancient vaults. Uh, find them so they may aid your journey. Go gently. One, uh, one beckons nearby just outside the shroud's grasp. Ooh, yeah, and there we go. Then you can upgrade the building area, uh, do stuff like that. And uh, I think you can give yourself a buff and that sort of thing as well, can't you? Uh, there we go. Find the sleeping... Okay, I mean... Feels like that's a bit early for that, but we'll... Let's go for it. Screw it. Let's go for it. I feel like we should probably build up a bit first, but... What's the worst could well what's the worst could happen is that we need to rearrange our hot bar so we've got those there. Let's go there. That's gonna help with some let's eat some of that. It's gonna help get me some food back or some health back. Yeah, there we go, let's go with that. That's good. Right, let's go back here and then yeah, we have to dip down. It was over the other side, right? Let's have a look. Yeah, uh, let's just consult the journal and make sure I'm doing that. Find the sleeping survivor. Oh my god! Oh, hang on. Ugh. Screw you, buddy. Freaking wolves. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's eat that. Let's eat some more of that. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. There is something over here. Should we just run straight there? It feels like a really dumb idea, but... Flint arrows. Can I pick that up? No. Seem like there's much else here. Axe or anything? No. Well, we ain't getting over that. Uh, you can't proceed without a grappling hook here. Seek a path through the shroud. Yeah, so there's all the shroud down below. And, uh, yeah, the world is... I'll just kind of show you the map again. The world's pretty big. So, there we go. It's a pretty big game so far, from uh, from what I played of it last time. I didn't play a huge amount of the demo. Um, I believe you could just keep on, uh, you know, uh, restarting a game and taking your character with you and extend the eight hours. But to be honest, I didn't really see the point to that. But yeah, you know, do what you do what you want to do. 
Uh, the raiders have besieged us on the past two days, attacking from the bridge. Uh, their eyes such madness. So we have uh, withheld so far, but only just. Uh, we may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to uh, rig uh, the pass uh, ah, with munitions. That's why that's all busted then. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, we've got a chest though. Ooh, what's that? Oh, wooden arrows. I mean, I wonder if we should. Can we? How difficult is it to make a bow? That's a good point, actually. Can we make a bow? Oh, we've got a shield. Okay, string and wood. Got a wand. I mean, should we make one? Rags. Oh, I can make string. I mean, I could make some, like, rag armor. What are we actually wearing? Oh, just a pair. Okay, a pair of trousers that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, fair enough. We can't make that, but we could make a pair of trousers. Well, it gives us some protection, doesn't it? If we're going over there, better to have something than nothing, isn't it? Let's equip those. There we go. I mean, they arguably look worse than what we had, but still. Uh, weapons. Oh, I can make a bow. Oh, I need twigs and string. I mean, would it be just... Yeah, let's just quickly do that. I, mean, I can't think that's going to take long to get, right? I feel like there could be a bit of a danger over there, so. Just grab that. I keep pressing tab. That's going to take me a little while. Uh, so, what do we need? Oh, I just need some more twigs. Okay. Alright, let's run back. See if we can just grab a few twigs. Got a twig. And we got another twig. Sweet. Alright, let's make the bow. There we are, and then we will put that like there. Kind of just rearrange those slightly. There we are. That's good. Let's go with the wood arrows because we've got a lot of those. Okay, let's go. And then we get the shield out again. Nice. Yeah, digging this game. I've been kind of looking forward to this one for a while. So I played a bit of it. I didn't play a huge amount of it, but it was one of those, yep, yeah, I want to play this when it comes out. Ooh, what's that? Oh, nothing. Okay. Oh, more wooden arrows. I'm kind of glad I built that then. Read, uh, we are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge and uh, with that out of connection to supplies, but uh, it worked. We haven't uh, seen any more scavengers. The Cinder's Vault and those within are safe and should remain so. If we are, avoid, if we are to avoid starvation, we may have to uh, take our chances in the horrible shroud. Okay. All right. Well, let's just, let's just make our way down here, shall we? Trying to get there before nightfall because uh, they don't fancy running back from this in the dark. Let's go this way. So we're enshrouded now. Where we have this pair of trousers to our name. I think there's stuff we could break down here, right? Might be able to make some more armor. Alright, there we go. Screw you, mate. Oh, he's got a ring. Uh, there was things these we could break. Ah, there we go. Torn rags, greater healing potion. Let's take that as well. Yeah, there's a few bits and bobs down here that we might be able to grab. Um, it's mostly just wood though, isn't it? I was going to say, let's check and make sure. Oh, I can use that to restore my time. Okay, that's cool. Uh, there is a little bit of cloth there. Any more cloth anywhere else? Loot. Oh, bones. Let's just kind of break. That looks like cloth to me. String, torn cloth. We might be able to make... Resin, string. I'm just kind of wondering whether I could make um, some, uh, you know, armor. But let's, let's kind of push on, shall we? I think... Is this the right way? Hmm. Or is it up that? No, I think it's up this way. I don't think we should be running off the path either. Yeah, this was it. This was the way. I'm starting to remember it. It's been a while. But there we go. Yeah, we've got to go through here. I probably want to put that on as well, don't we? We're at least a bit sheltered. 
and then yeah we kind of climb out of this bit there we go and we climb up this lovely trestle that somebody has left for us and then there was a little base here as well wasn't there yes there was nice interact with a campfire to cook food I don't think we're gonna to worry too much about that uh, read oh hello oh we just leveled up sweet let's see how the process has been made I'll let you guys read that oh we got a skill point as well okay how do we level up character attributes or do we just uh, oh flame level yeah I'm not sure skills oh dang Ah, I guess it's which way you want to go, isn't it? Sneak attack, merciless attack, perform a merciless attack by, ooh, tank or beatmaster. Felling axes do 30% more damage. Dang. I mean, a battle mage would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Oh, I think that's my intelligence. Oh, have we got that? Space to unlock. Crucial constitution. I kind of want that. It's going to give me some more health, isn't it? There we go. Oh, and then... Oh, I can unlock the endurance as well. Is that endurance? That's endurance. Oh, I see. So, oh, I probably should have gone with that one, actually. I guess you could spec down multiple paths, though, didn't you? Was this even in the other one? Assassin. I, go, I, I mean, a Beastmaster kind of sounds cool, doesn't it? kind of sounds cool to me right let's let's make a move because it's getting dark man i want to get this done uh where was it was it this way or was it up that way oh find it yeah it's this way yeah yeah let's go this way let's get let's try and get this done before nightfall if we can let's get the ranger out Ah, yeah, here we go. This was it. Okay, I think it wants me to kind of sneak through, right? Oh, there's a bunch of bees there. I don't know. Let's just not bother about the sneaking bit, shall we? Somebody knocking about there. Oh! It's bloody bees. Uh... Oh, I just killed. Oh, I just pissed that guy off as well. All right. Okay. Well, I just alerted everybody. Oh boy. All right. Well, I just killed that guy, so that's good. That's a good start. I'll take that. Metal scraps. And who's this fella? Oh boy. Dang. Alright, I got that guy. <laughs> Flipping heck. He did a lot of damage. Alright, let's eat. I know I'm cold as well. Uh, ooh, what's that? Repair equipment? I can't see what the hell that is. What is it? Oh, it's a forge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm probably supposed to sneak around that if I remember rightly, but... Hey-ho! I am a little bit on the chilly side as well. thought there was... So yeah, there was someone in here as well, wasn't there? I gotta go back inside because I can't see out there. Let's go back inside. Hopefully nobody else is in here. Come on, dummy. Alright, I got you. <laughs> Just about. Loot that as well for some bones. What else have we got here? Reed. 
Venture forth, it's done. The cinder vessels uh, is a delicate contraption, still volatile, still volatile yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of our new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. You must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew. Okay, there we go. Can we loot that or not? No. Yes, yeah, so we can recruit different people, like blacksmiths, etc., to our cause. And we've now got this guy. And there's various other people to recruit as well. So, uh, yeah, kind of... Oh, is that like a... It's like a box, doesn't it? Maybe not. Okay. All right, so... Uh, you need to rest. You can uh, fast travel back to the... Oh! Press M to navigate. Can I just fast travel back there? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's no need to... Uh, no need to walk home. I could just fast travel. Fair enough. There we go. Right, so we're back at home. Well, we might as well carry on. Summon the sleeping or summon the survivor. Let's go J. So find the sleeping. You've retrieved the sleeping survivor. Place your place them in your home with a summoning staff. Okay, can I craft that? Uh, be like magical? Staff. Is that it? Oh, I need resin. That must be it, right? Oh, summoning staff. No, it's not. Oh, I need twigs. Alright, well that's going to be easy enough, he says. Hopefully. Going to go here. Just go up to the first bush. We should. There we go. Might as well grab a few of these. Probably going to need them. Grab some berries as well. I feel like I just heard a wolf then as well. Let's run back. Yes, I did. There we go. Right, so let's build the summoning staff. And then let's go B. Where is that? It's there. I mean, we could just press... Uh, was it? No, sorry, not control. It was alt. Tab ready summy staff. Red and oh, there we are. Is that it? Oi. Oh, there we go. Find the sleeping survivor quest completed. Hey, there we go. Cool. Brilliant. Right, uh, long last I return. I am a humble blacksmith at your service. Let's prepare for, uh, pray for what's to come. Nice. Uh, should we talk to this guy? What have you got? Crafting first gear. I mean, that's good. Uh, took you long enough to find me. Look at you, uh, weak and puny. They call you uh, Flameborn. First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up. Uh, crafting a scrappy sword or a spiked club will serve us well. Okay, cleansing fire. Let's go over that as well. Ember Veil can still be saved. Uh, where there's ash, there's embers. Kid, the shroud suffocates the valley. So seek the em elixir well uh, with your new gear and raise the roof of our misery. Uh, ignite uh, the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on your flame born. Okay, well rested as well. All right, let's go with that. If with the gear, you shouldn't uh, feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well uh, before you head out. Uh, a fire, a roof over your head, and some uh, meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Okay, cool. Right, so we've just given us a bunch of stuff we can craft. Ooh, yeah, we can make like, yeah, yeah, fur armor. Oh. I mean, I can make a helmet. I've got some stuff to do that already. Chest armor. Dishes. Hello. There we go. Nails. Uh, forge. Felling axe. Scrappy pickaxe. One-handed spiked club. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go with a chest armor. Why not? Let's go with that. I don't see reason not to. Uh, let's go and look at the journal because he's just given us a bunch of stuff. So clear the elixir well. Show on map. Let's have a look at that. All right, that's over there. That's on the other side. Okay, all right. That's fine. And then, oh, sorry, J. Forge a weapon. Craft them and create a scrappy sword or a spiked club. Okay, what do we need for that? Oh, he's the guy for that, isn't he? And talk to him. So, oh, at the moment, one-handed. Oh, we can do that. 
We need nails. We just need nails. Okay, let's craft a few of those. I mean, what's that? Level 5? Uh, it's probably the blunt damage, right? Oh, I need more nails. In that in that case, I'm just going to build that because I don't have a huge amount of stuff at the moment. So let's go with that. Let's talk to him again. Oh, a shelter and a glider. A glider? Bloody hell. Okay, I need a proper shot to uh, smith in. Only then can I craft the right to equipment for your journey. Don't fret, it's not hard to build one. You'll need a, work, a workbench, some uh, building blocks, and a construction hammer. Let's get to work. Might as well ask what the glider is as well. Flame bomb, uh, give you the flame doesn't give you wings, kid. Uh, craft a glider at the workbench; it'll make uh, getting around a lot easier. Perfect for brave ones like you. Uh, don't forget that uh, using the glider drains stamina. But for what I've seen, you've got a lot in you. Okay, all right, that's cool. So we've got to build a shelter. That's the next thing. Well, I think we need a pickaxe first, right? Because um, yeah, we're gonna need some stone and that sort of thing. Let's go crafting. Uh, survival pickaxe. Yeah, we need some more twigs. And then obviously I made that armor as well. Let's go to the character. Let's put that on. There we go. Get some bits and bobs together. The journal. Blacksmith needs a shop and the elixir well. I think that's the that's probably the one we want to do, isn't it? Probably the shop though, isn't it really? Set as active quest. Let's set that one as the active quest. Workshops. Oh, workbench. So I just need some stone and a hammer. Okay. It's kind of cool. Right, well, let's have a look what we need. So we've got the construction. Oh, we can make that. Let's do that. And then we need twigs and some stone. Let's get that done next as well. Okay, so it's the morning. I've managed to get the workbench and the construction hammer built. I've just noticed as well, this has got another commune thing. You have awakened your kin. Uh, the flame is pleased. Seek out other survivors slumbering in the Springlands. Ah, there we go. So we've got another quest as well. Oh, hang on. We don't want to do that. Uh, there we go. Cool. So I would assume that there is probably forge a weapon... Ah. Rookmore. That looks like that's in the swamp then, or in the shrouded, sorry bit. But uh, there we go. I managed to make that. I'm pretty sure we could just pick this thing up whenever we wanted. Yeah, there we go. And then I think stone is probably what I'm going to do the floor out of. And then I'll probably do it out of wood. Um, the walls. It's probably the way to go. Uh, let's craft some of those. Just craft like a bunch of those why not there we go and then uh didn't we use the how do we do this gotta remember that it's that and then that and then we go yeah rough stone blocks so it's gonna put the blacksmith bit there that's good Oof, that's gonna take a lot isn't it oh dang damn that's gonna take me a lot okay right i'm gonna have to grind up some stone uh, let's kind of come over here and start doing that. Let's do that. Damn, yeah, that's going to take me a while. And then, yeah, you can... You can uh, start terraforming. Like, if you just come over here... You can just start digging away that if you wanted to as well. So, um, yeah, which I think is really cool. That's great. Oh, man, that's going to take me a long time to get that, isn't it? That's going to be a lot of stuff to grab. I mean, maybe we should just go for the other person. Uh, but I feel like just doing a bit of crafting and building. So. Oh, that's going to. I'm going to keep digging little holes in that if I'm not careful. I have to kind of. I think we could make like a shovel though, couldn't we? And um, fill those back in again. I'm going to have to tap, I think. Uh, let's just hold it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can make a shovel and fill that back in, couldn't you? Thought you could anyway. But yeah, our very meagre and humble beginnings. I mean, a campfire might not be a bad idea as well uh, to start with. Uh, let's go. 
make like a just turn that all into stone. Probably better going with wood, to be honest. But it's a blacksmith, so I feel like uh, you kind of got to go with stone. But um, tab. I mean, I'm thinking just a little thing like two by three or something, or even that. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, does it? Um, and then if we go there, I guess we need to make wooden blocks, right? I think we need to make wooden blocks for the walls, yeah? So, rough wood block. Make like a few of those. There we go. That's good. See if we can get a little bit of something up before we end the video. Wow. I've just realized how long. Uh, control. I'm going to change my... That and then that there we go I mean, yeah again this is going to be looking terrible but you know it's we got to start somewhere let's put a window in shall we like so I love the building in this though it's so good so I remember rightly it was really good so Go like there, and then if we put like a door in, like that, that's great. Cool, right? And then we've got to make some. If we come out of that, we're going to make some flooring. Uh, we're going to make some roof. Let's just use all of those. Why not? And then uh, alt for more shapes. Roof. Aha. Do we want the big ones or do we want the small? I guess the small ones, right? I don't know. Hmm. I think maybe the big ones, actually. Yeah, I think maybe the big ones. Ooh, that's a bit much, isn't it? Could just go with like a flat roof on the top of it for now. Wouldn't look very good, but it would, it would kind of do it, serve its purpose. Um, oh no, that fills in. There's a little gap, but when you do it, it just fills it in, yeah. Oh, hang on. I just got to go and grab some plant fibers from somewhere. Oh, there's like someone corrupted there. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to leave you be for the minute. And then, yeah, I guess we uh, go and search in there as well. It's that place as well. Yeah, there's a little corrupted area here. Plant fibers. Let's just see if we can grab those. Nice. Yeah, looks kind of rubbishy, but, you know, it's the start of a place, isn't it? So, uh, let's kind of go there. And we'll just build, like, one more of those. Let's go back into the build mode and just see if we can kind of finish this off. There we go. It's not much, but it's something. And then... I'm going to put you inside there. Ah, there we go. Blacksmith needs a shop. Quest complete. Sweet. We've done it. I mean, it's probably the worst shop there is, but... You know, it's it's not looking good so far, but we can knock it down and change it and make it out of stone and do all that sort of stuff later on. But I think for now, that's a, that's a decent start. We've put him inside there, and then we can start working on getting... Uh, oh, yeah, look, we're rested as well. We'll start getting some um, other crafting benches and stuff down as well. But, um, yeah, that's cool. I think for now, though, I think this is probably a good place to call it, and I think we'll end the episode here. I might just do a bit of grinding in between the episodes and try and get some more materials together. Uh, we'll do a bit more building. I think we'll kind of build around this central courtyard, um, blacksmith, and then, yeah, various other um, craftsmen and so on all around this kind of courtyard here. Maybe they'll share buildings. I'm not too sure. Uh, but I'm really excited for this one. So if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments and likes and subscribes and all that sort of stuff. It really helps on the channel and lets me know you want to make more. But for now, I think this is where we'll call it and we'll end the episode. So if you like the one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts. Stay down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. 
Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.